The Philosopher King, a story of Marcus Aurelius. Chapter 1. Introduction to Aurelius. In this video, we embark on a journey through the life of Marcus Aurelius, beginning with his early years. We delve into his childhood, family background, and the education that shaped his formative years. The narrative follows his remarkable rise to power, uncovering the influences that guided his path to becoming one of Rome's most revered emperors. As we transition to the philosopher king, we explore the tenets of Stoicism, a philosophy that Marcus Aurelius not only studied, but profoundly embodied. Through his life's trials and triumphs, we see how he applied Stoic principles to his governance and personal conduct. In examining his seminal work, Meditations, we highlight key themes and poignant quotes, demonstrating their impact and relevance. This foundation sets the stage for an in-depth exploration of his reign as emperor, where we witness his leadership, challenges, and enduring legacy. Chapter 2. The Philosopher King The essence of Marcus Aurelius's reign and personal life can be deeply understood through the lens of Stoic philosophy, a school of thought that profoundly influenced his decisions and outlook. To grasp the full impact of Marcus Aurelius as a philosopher king, it is essential to first introduce Stoicism and its core principles before exploring how he applied them throughout his life and reign. Stoicism, founded in the early 3rd century BCE by Zeno of Sidium, is a philosophy that teaches the development of self-control and fortitude to overcome destructive emotions. The Stoics believed that virtue, such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, is the highest good and that the path to eudaimonia, or true happiness, lies in accepting the moment as it presents itself, by not allowing oneself to be controlled by the desire for pleasure or fear of pain, and by using reason to understand the world and to do one's part in nature's plan. Central to Stoic thought are the following core principles. The Stoics posited that a life led by virtue is in harmony with nature and reason, Virtue encompasses wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Stoics distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. We should focus on our own actions and reactions, accepting that external events are beyond our control. Marcus Aurelius, perhaps more than any other Stoic philosopher, exemplified the application of Stoic principles in both his personal life and his role as a ruler. His adherence to Stoicism is most famously encapsulated in his personal writings, the Meditations, which serve as both a guide to Stoic practice and a window into his inner life. He strove to embody the Stoic virtues in his governance. He sought wisdom through constant learning and reflection, often consulting with philosophers and scholars. His sense of justice was evident in his legal reforms and efforts to protect the vulnerable within the empire. Despite the immense power he wielded, he practiced temperance, avoiding excess and remaining grounded in his duties. As emperor, Marcus faced numerous challenges, including military conflicts, plagues, and political intrigue. His stoic training helped him remain calm and composed, focusing on what he could control, his own actions and decisions, while accepting the inevitability of hardship and change. This mindset allowed him to make rational decisions even in the face of crisis. Rationality was a cornerstone of his rule. He approached problems logically and sought practical solutions grounded in reason. His decisions were often influenced by his understanding of natural law and the interconnectedness of all things a key Stoic belief. He demonstrated remarkable resilience throughout his reign. Whether dealing with the prolonged Marcomannic Wars or the Antonine Plague, he adapted to changing circumstances with a Stoic acceptance of the inevitable. His ability to endure personal and public trials without losing his philosophical grounding is a testament to his Stoic resilience. Embracing the Stoic idea of cosmopolitanism, Marcus Aurelius viewed himself as a citizen of the world, responsible for the well-being of all his subjects. 
he endeavored to promote harmony and unity within the diverse Roman Empire, advocating for policies that reflected his belief in the inherent worth of every individual. Through his unwavering commitment to Stoic principles, Marcus Aurelius not only guided his empire through tumultuous times, but also left a legacy of philosophical thought that continues to inspire. His life and reign stand as a testament to the power of Stoicism to cultivate a wise, just, and resilient leader. Meditations In the exploration of Marcus Aurelius's philosophical life, one cannot overlook his seminal work, The Meditations, these personal writings, composed during his military campaigns and personal retreats, offer a profound insight into his inner thoughts, struggles, and stoic practices. This episode delves into the meditations, highlighting its key themes and quotes, and discusses its enduring impact and relevance in the modern world. Meditations, originally written in Greek, is a collection of personal notes and reflections, Unlike typical philosophical treatises intended for public consumption, the meditations were private thoughts, never meant for publication. This gives them an intimate and candid quality, revealing the emperor's attempts to live a life of virtue and wisdom amidst the demands and trials of his position. Marcus wrote the book over many years, often during his military campaigns along the Danube. The text is divided into 12 books, each containing a series of aphorisms, reflections, and self-admonitions. Through these writings, Marcus engaged in continuous self-examination, striving to align his actions with Stoic ideals. Emphasizing the importance of rationality and controlling one's emotions, Marcus writes, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. He stresses the need to govern oneself with reason and to remain unaffected by external events. As an emperor, Marcus saw his role as a duty to be performed with integrity and justice. He reminds himself to act for the common good, stating, What is not good for the hive is not good for the bee. Marcus advocates for accepting circumstances beyond our control and responding with resilience. He writes, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Despite the pressures of his position, Marcus seeks inner peace through contentment and detachment from material desires. He notes, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. The book Meditations has had a lasting impact on both philosophical thought and practical living. Their timeless wisdom transcends the historical context of their creation, offering guidance for anyone seeking to live a virtuous and meaningful life. In essence, the meditations continue to serve as a beacon of stoic wisdom, encouraging readers to cultivate inner strength live with purpose, and embrace the vicissitudes of life with grace and equanimity. Marcus Aurelius's introspective journey, captured in these writings, remains a profound source of guidance and inspiration, illustrating the enduring relevance of Stoic philosophy in the quest for a virtuous and fulfilled life. The Reign of Marcus Aurelius the reign of Marcus Aurelius was marked by a series of significant events and formidable challenges that tested his leadership and resolve. As emperor, Marcus Aurelius demonstrated a commitment to Stoic principles while navigating the complexities of governance, military conflict, and social reform. Throughout his reign, Marcus faced continuous threats from various Germanic tribes along the empire's northern borders. The Marcomannic Wars, lasting from 166 to 180 CE, were a series of brutal conflicts that required significant military engagement. These wars demanded much of Marcus's attention and resources, yet he remained steadfast in his duty. Despite the ongoing military conflicts, Marcus Aurelius implemented several important political and social reforms. He worked to improve the legal system, ensuring greater justice and fairness. 
His efforts included the reformation of laws concerning slavery and the administration of provinces, reflecting his commitment to Stoic principles of justice and equality. Marcus Aurelius also focused on social welfare, supporting orphans and the poor through the establishment of charitable institutions. He encouraged education and philosophy, providing state support for teachers and scholars. Aurelius's leadership style was characterized by humility, wisdom, and a deep sense of duty. Unlike many of his predecessors, he viewed his role as emperor not as a position of power, but as a responsibility to serve the greater good of the empire and its people. His stoic philosophy influenced his governance. He approached problems with rationality and calmness, often reflecting on the nature of power and the transient nature of life. His writings in the Meditations reveal a leader who constantly sought to balance his personal values with the demands of his office. Marcus valued the counsel of trusted advisors and the Senate, fostering a more collaborative and consultative approach to governance. He believed in leading by example and demonstrating virtues such as temperance, justice, and courage. His reign was marked by moral integrity and a lack of personal indulgence. Marcus Aurelius lived modestly, avoiding the excesses often associated with imperial power. This earned him respect and loyalty from both the Senate and the people. Marcus Aurelius responded to threats with remarkable commitment and bravery. He personally led his legions into battle, demonstrating his willingness to endure the hardships of military life alongside his soldiers. Unlike many emperors who ruled from afar, Marcus spent much of his reign on the front lines, coordinating military strategies and fortifying the empire's northern borders. His presence on the battlefield served to inspire his troops and reinforce the discipline and morale necessary for sustained military efforts. Under his leadership, the Romans constructed a series of forts and defensive structures along the Danube River, reinforcing their positions and creating a formidable barrier against further invasions. These fortifications, combined with strategic deployments of troops, helped to stabilize the frontier and provided a base from which Roman forces could launch counter-offensives. The establishment of these defenses was crucial in creating a buffer zone that could absorb and repel enemy advances, thereby protecting the core territories of the Roman Empire. The military campaigns of Marcus Aurelius, although costly and arduous, ultimately strengthened the Roman Empire's northern borders and subdued the immediate threat of the Germanic tribes. His strategic fortifications and diplomatic efforts ensured a period of relative peace in the region following his death. His leadership during these campaigns solidified his reputation as a capable and dedicated ruler. His ability to manage both the military and civil aspects of his reign, while adhering to his stoic principles, left a lasting legacy of resilience and virtue. The challenges he faced and the strategies he employed continue to be studied and admired for their insight into effective leadership and governance. In summary, the military campaigns of Marcus Aurelius were a defining period of his reign, showcasing his strategic acumen, resilience, and commitment to the defense of the Roman Empire. His ability to adapt to changing circumstances employ innovative strategies and lead by example ensured the survival and stability of the empire during one of its most challenging eras. The lessons from his military campaigns remain relevant today, offering timeless insights into the complexities of leadership, strategy, and human endurance. The reign of Marcus Aurelius stands as a testament to the strength of Stoic philosophy in guiding leadership through tumultuous times. Despite facing some of the most significant challenges in Roman history, Marcus Aurelius remained steadfast in his commitment to virtue, justice, and the welfare of his people. His response to the Antonine Plague showcased his dedication to public health and stability, while his engagement in the Marcomannic Wars highlighted his strategic and resilient leadership. Through political reforms and social policies, he sought to ensure justice and support for the vulnerable, reflecting his deep sense of moral duty. 
Marcus Aurelius's leadership style was marked by humility, wisdom, and a consultative approach, earning him the respect and loyalty of both the Senate and the populace. His reign, characterized by moral integrity and modest living, set a high standard for imperial conduct. The military campaigns, particularly against the Germanic tribes, underscored his ability to balance the demands of war with maintaining the empire's stability, employing both strategic fortifications and diplomatic efforts. In facing numerous challenges, from resource constraints to logistical difficulties, Marcus Aurelius demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability. His use of diplomacy and psychological strategies further exemplified his nuanced approach to leadership. The impact of his reign, marked by strengthened borders and a period of relative peace following his death, solidified his legacy as a capable and dedicated ruler. His adherence to Stoic principles amidst adversity left an enduring legacy of resilience and virtue, providing timeless insights into effective leadership and governance.